Welcome to Jonita Online Class. In this class, I want us to discuss a particular topic in mathematics in continuation of our individual class from where we stopped last time. And that topic we want us to discuss today is exponential function. Exponential function, that is a topic in mathematics. Then, last time we discussed um, that during our last lesson here, we discussed um, laws of indices. And from that laws of indices, we are going to have a, 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 a we are going to have application now. So this application has to do with the exponential function, where we now apply the laws of indices. Then without wasting time, what do we mean by exponential function? By exponential function in mathematics, we mean when we have um, a function whose powers are unknown. The powers can be in form of a maybe unknown variable like x, y. Such function or numbers is known as exponential function. And we can have it in an equation and there's a way of solving it. So let's look at these examples now for clear and better understanding. Now the question number one says, example, evaluate the following. Number one says, four is four x equals to 32. So let's look at it quickly. How do we solve this? The first thing we do is to do, make sure that they have equal basis, that the equal numbers. We now express that the two numbers there in equal uh, uh, numbers so that with their powers, we can now equate their powers and solve for the known variable. Now, solution. Number one says 4 power x equals 32. That's number one. Now, look at this now. That's question number one. 4 power x equals to 32. You now look at this. This is 4. We let us put this one to power. So we now have that. This 4 now, we lock up 2 raised to power what? We give us 4. And look at this side as well. 2 raised to power what? We give us 32. So we look at this will be 2 raised to power 2. It was, we now check 2 raised to power what? We give us 32. And that will be 2 raised to the power 5. We check it out, you see that 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Give us 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 35, it is 32. That is it. So that is your equivalent. Now we now open this bracket. We have 2 raised to the power 2 times x is 2x equals 2 raised to the power 5. So at this point now, you can see that this versus this. So what we remain now, we have 2x equals 5. That are the powers, because the basis are now, the numbers are equal. So now back at the subject formula, that find the coefficient, the value of x, by dividing both sides by the coefficient of x, as equals 5 over what? 2. That's our answer. Or if you can write 2 into 5, you can write um, 2 or number 1 over 2. That is the answer. So you see, it's very simple. So look at this. Then that means that this is the what's supposed to be here. Then let's continue for the next one. We have uh, the next number two says two, 7 raised to the power x plus 2 equals 9 raised to the power 2x. 27 raised to the power x plus 2 equals to 9 raised to the power 2x. So number 2, we use the same approach. We have 27 to the power of x plus 2 equals 9 raised to the power 2x. Now, we look at these numbers. What is the, what are the, what is the number that, we, that can now have a function here, the raised to the power something, and the same number raised to the power something gives us 9 and gives us 27. Quickly, that number is simply 3. Look at 3 here now. 3 raised to the power 3, bracket s plus 2 equals 3 raised to the power 2 bracket 2x check it out 3 times 3 times 3 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 3 is 27 and 3 times 3 is also 9 like you can see here so 3 power 3 gives us 27 remember this is not 4 as equals to the divide quotient by no this is power so it is not the same thing as when you have 4 as equals to 32 so don't be confused these two things are not the same uh -huh. If you have this, we divide by the equation of this, 4 divided by 2, but that is not, this is power, that is exponential function. So at this point now, they have, you see that 
you are getting similar numbers here. So to open bracket, then this is a quantity. Now that is three raised by three times s is what three x. Then three times two is what six. So a plus three raised power two times two four x. See what we did here. This is three times s three a open bracket three x three times two six. So we have I can see I have similar thing down. This and this, they are the same. Since they are the same, now have this power, equate them. Equating these powers, we have, we have, at this point, we have that 3x plus 6 equals 4x. That's what we have now. So at this point now, we know what, we collect like terms. So we now have that, if you collect like terms, you can write that 6 equals 4x, if we this one go by plus minus, minus 3x, which is the same thing. If a is equals to b, then b is also equals to a. Simple. So, with that ideology, we now have that 4x, sorry, 6 equals 4x minus 3x is what? x. That 4 minus 3 is 1. That's 1x. Therefore, our x is equals to what? 6. Answer. So, that is it. Then, that one solved. So the unknown variable x is 6. Then let's look at number 3 question quickly. Number 3 says, question number 3 says, 64 to the power of x equals 0.25. Now look at this. We quickly do justice to that. Don't be distracted by the decimal here. It is very simple. So we have uh, a 64 raised to the power of x equals Let's change this to ordinary fraction. That will give you 25 over this decimal is 1. We put 0, 0, that is 2 digits. This decimal here is 1, then 2 digits, 0, 0. So that is it, 25 over 100. Now we continue. We now have 64 to the power of x equals, reduce this to lowest term. What do we have? We have 1 over what? 4. 25 divided itself is 1, divide 100, 4. So it equals 1 over 4. You see how we are breaking it down. So at this point, we do the same justice. Now let's think of let's think of the powers here. What can be the power here? You can see that there is something between this and this. You can break them into simpler powers. And if you break them now, you have that uh, this is simply four raised to power. Four raised to power what to give us sixty-four. Four times four is sixteen. Sixteen times four is sixty-four. So you can see that four raised to power three bracket x or quickly let's say write it four raised to the power three x quickly without wasting time first part three x equals four raised to the power minus one recall in our law of indices we said that when we have one over x is right is also x to the power minus one so that is the same thing from law of indices okay so having this now they have the same numbers here so it is simple for us so you see this one go here, this one go here. So we can now have that 3x equals to 1. So it equals minus 1. We have minus 1 here. So that divide both sides by quotient of x, which is 3, s equals to minus 1 over 3. That's our answer. So this, even though if you like, you can break this in twos, because 2 raised to the power 6 will give you also 64. And 2 raised to the power 2 is 4. You can still break, if you want to use 2, to, uh, equivalent, uh, 2 as the equivalent numbers, you can break to, uh, express it to exponent of 2. But I just use 4, because 4 can go for 2 sides, for the both sides. So at this point, I believe you have understood um, the solution here. This has given you, uh, must have given you a clue or hint on how to solve uh, exponential uh, functions in mathematics. Thank you for your attention. For more of these solutions in physics and mathematics, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and then um, follow me on Facebook and, uh, and Instagram as well, even TikTok. Then if you want um, uh, extra classes, online classes, CHEDO, like I do have with students preparing for JAM, YEC, GCE, NAPTEB, NACO, all these exams. So you can just reach out to me through my phone number here. You can chat me on WhatsApp. So we can share online classes via Zoom, Skype, Telegram, what have you. Because distance is no longer a barrier in this 21st century education. Thank you so much and um, God bless you.